isn't it a lovely surprise to wake up to not a cleaning video but a nice festive Christmas video so this is my Christmas tree in the kitchen and I thought I'd share it with you all so hopefully I can inspire some of you to use some marabou on your Christmas trees because all I seem to use is feather bowers and I've got tons of them but I just like them because they, they seem to add that snow look to the tree even though I use flock trees I like the feather bowers because they just give it that look that there's all snow on the tips of the branches so I've decorated the Christmas tree as you can see this Christmas tree is a couple of years old now it's a slimline seven foot flock tree and the little grey wicker tree skirt that you see at the bottom was purchased from home base last year and it was only cheap I've actually done a vlog at home base which I'm going to post tomorrow so you will see them with a basket in the bottom I think it was 13 pounds if my memory serves me well it was 13 pounds anyway putting the lights on now all these lights I've had for years and years and I'm just gutted that all the wires are dark on them because I've put clear wire on the dining room Christmas tree and they turned out really nice so I just wish they were all clear wires but I'm not prepared to go out and buy a load of new lights because obviously there's thousands so I put my lights on up and down the tree and a lot of you have noticed it in my previous video where I decorated the dining room tree I did put the lights on last and I never usually do that the only reason that I've done that was because the Christmas tree was white and all the wires were dark so I had to go out and purchase those lights but I put them on up and down the tree because they're so much easier to take off when I'm stripping it and putting it away it's so much easier to take the lights off when you go up and down rather than round and round and I just find that you can spread them more evenly when they go up and down too Gaze upon the sky Christmas on my mind Somewhere from a place up high above There's a song of love Travel Christmas news Hope will 
So I actually decided that there wasn't enough feather boa on the Christmas tree. I usually do wrap it round in layers. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen this tree last year and nothing much has changed on it. I decided to add more feather boas because I just think it made it look a lot more Christmassy and it made it fill in more gaps because this tree, although it's a snow flock tree, the branches are quite different on the tips so you can see through the centre and I didn't want to start adding filler balls to it so I just thought I'm going to make it look exactly like I did last year because I did love it last year and I do think it looks absolutely gorgeous so I added more feather boas. I also wanted to ask you as well, I've got an eight foot white Christmas tree that I'm actually tempted to put in the front room and decorate it all blush pink. So do you think I should put the eight foot white tree up in the front room in the lounge and decorate it all blush pink or stick with the nine foot tree which is a snow flock tree and decorate it all white and blush pinks? You tell me what you think I should do and I will do what you think I should do. <laughs> Christmas tree. Isn't she lovely? I'm absolutely made up with it and I hope that it's inspired you to decorate your Christmas tree. I know it's early and I've switched the lights on now to decorate the tree but all the lights will be switched off and they won't be switched back on until the 1st of December and on the 1st of December I'm going to do a full home tour because there will be different things on the tree. The dining room tree has no topper on it yet so I will be doing the topper and I'll do a home tour and I'll show you all the little bits that I've added. If anybody wants to know where anything's from, a majority of my decorations are and Christmas trees are from Inspirations. I don't work with Inspirations in any way at all. I just absolutely love their store. And, you know, 
the prices are a fraction of the likes of Bent's and all those type of shops. The decorations are just as cheap as the range at Inspirations, but you can get lots of decorations at the range too. You'll see lots of baubles on my tree from there. And yeah, that's it. I really hope that you've loved my Christmas tree. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who purchased my wax melts and for your lovely feedback as well. I will be releasing more wax melts. They are available in my Etsy shop today. I will post them every Sunday once they're cooked and ready and tested. They'll be ready on a Sunday for you to buy. It's a new batch and it's the home edition. There is nine cents in the box. And I just have to say that honesty and home in that box set are my absolute favourites. I love the smell of them. They're so nice. And I just think it's lovely how you are all supporting me. So I wanted to say thank you for that. My YouTube schedule got a little bit hectic hectic this weekend and I am aware of that but I've been so busy with the wax melts the house looks like no one owns it and there will be a, a cleaning video coming and you will be able to see just how messy the house has actually got but yeah I hope that you all have a lovely day whatever you are doing and thanks for tuning in and watching and I'll see you all in my next video have a lovely day everyone and I'll see you soon bye for now go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir performing all the christmas songs that we love yeah all the christmas songs that we love and then while we're gonna go inside